What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showcasing my Power Rangers legacy figures from Bandai. So not too long ago, uh, it was announced that Bandai would no longer be making these figures. So I was pretty upset, especially since these figures are one of my favorites to collect. I love every single one of them. But now Hasbro will be making them. Who knows if they're going to go off of similar style or go off of something different and just base it off of Marvel Legends or something. I'm personally hoping they could fit in with the rest that us collectors have already collected since they would look great next to all these figures. So enough with that, let's just show these figures. So right here I have the metallic original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with the non-metallic white and green ranger back there. Guys, a lot of people helped me collect these. Uh, these figures were very hard to find, especially in my area. So shout out to Brandon and Rita for the Green Ranger. That was probably the hardest one to get. Shout out to Art Miranda for the Yellow Ranger back there and the black one. I really like these figures. Sadly, I don't have the Megazord because I didn't collect the original ones, the non-metallic ones. I figured I'd rather just get the ones with the weapons since the original ones were super hard to find, especially the Red Ranger. So I have them here each with their weapons. I know most of them are looking away and it's pretty odd, so that's why I need to repose them. A lot of them fell down and that's why I just had to stand them up, so they look a little weird. My favorite from, from this set would probably be the blue one. I think he looks the coolest and I like his weapon. Moving on here, we have the Ninja Storm. This was the first set of Rangers they released. I personally think that it's the best ones. I love the uh, Ninja Storm series. I like the Megazord and I like their weapons. There, There is a rumor that they're going to finish this set before um, the end of this year. So I'm hoping that's true, especially since I really like the other three Rangers and I think they would look really good with these. Next up, this guy's in the way a little bit. Let's just move him over. Next up here, we have the Space Rangers. Uh, Megazord is not my favorite, to be honest. Um, so the pretty simple figures, they look good all together, but not my favorite, to be honest. Mm, the hardest one to get was the blue one for me. I couldn't find it at all. I got the black one for super cheap over at GameStop when they were uh, having their clearance prices. I had I got the yellow one at Target for cheap as well, and the pink one from Walmart, I want to say. Red one was from Toys R Us, and the blue one, I literally had to order him online. I paid a little over retail, but I had to finish the set. I have seen rumors as well that they're going to come out with the Silver Space Rangers, so I'm hoping that is true. Moving on, we have the Movie Rangers. Now, these are my least favorite from the Legacy line. The Megazord, however, is really good. I like it. It probably has the best articulation as well, but uh, the Rangers lack articulation. I don't like the females. Um, Alpha 5, um, I don't know why they included it. I, I mean, I guess it looks pretty cool, but you know, why didn't they uh, include Green Ranger or uh, Rita? Plus, these are a pain to pose. They always fall. Moving on, we have the Dino Rangers. Now, these are the only three that are out. No one knows really what's going on with the yellow one. I need to complete this set. I need to get the White Ranger as well. That's coming out later with the Cycle Rangers but no one knows what's going on with the yellow one. I need to complete this set, guys. I This uh, this series was one of my favorite ones. This Tommy, uh, I got him from uh, from Amazon. A lot of people were scalping him and wanting like 40 bucks, but thank God I got him for 20 bucks over at Walmart. This Tommy here was being scalped at the beginning uh, when he, this Tommy here was being scalped, but Amazon has them for 20 bucks here and there. So I would be checking if you guys still need him. I found mine over at Walmart, but I had also um, already bought one off of Amazon. I just canceled it before they shipped it. So yeah, the other two I found over at Walgreens, not too hard to find, honestly. Here are the Megazord pieces. We need the yellow and the white Ranger. Here we have the Zeo Rangers. The Megazord is almost completed. Just needs the two legs from the females. That's my custom right there, my Gold Ranger. I did a video if you guys want to check it out. Link will be in the description. This Tommy here was a pain to find. I, I kept searching my Walgreens every single day for him. Finally, they got him and I got him. 
Not too long ago, it was announced that the female Zeo Rangers were going to be a GameStop exclusive now, so I already pre-ordered mine. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to do that. I have to complete my um, my uh, Megazord. It come, they come out in August, I believe. So yeah, guys, I am pretty caught up with all my legacy figures. I'm upset that this line is going to end, but I'm also excited to see what Hasbro is going to do with the Rangers. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention it, but if you guys didn't know, these uh, movie rangers are Toys R Us exclusives. And if you are caught up with the news, then you know that Toys R Us is closing. So if you guys want these, I would go down there and see if they have them. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below or ask me over at the Toy Savages Facebook group. I love to see other people's collections, so feel free to share that as well. With that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.